so hi uh, welcome everyone uh, to this uh, mock interview session so today we have onindo so onindo briefly introduce yourself hi myself onindo das i passed out uh, from jadavpur university in electronics and instrumentation engineering department now i am currently working in aditya birla group as a graduate engineer training okay and your interest obviously lie in analog village right yes okay okay so let's move to the question session okay so let's say uh, we have uh, we have a capacitor and that is initially charged to let's say 2 volt okay and after t greater 0 this switch is closed okay t plus 0 okay t 0 plus and we connect a ideal voltage source of let's say 2 volts and this is our let's say ground point so i on to plot this output voltage okay so okay. You, you can do okay 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 let, so, let, let's make let's make the voltage source this 4 volts okay So at uh, t, t equal to zero minus, uh, the switch is open. So the, the this path, uh, this circuit is the capacitor is totally disconnected from the voltage source. So the V zero will be plus two uh, plus two volt. Okay. okay. So as soon as soon as the uh, switch is closed, so here we can see that. Uh, the here we can see that uh, so at, at t equal to zero plus uh, so we all know that uh, capacitor is acts as a short circuit so if this is short circuit and the uh, voltage source is connected with this capacitor so there is an uh, infinite current will go through the capacitor so it is so there is a sudden change of voltage across the capacitor so at no time the v0 will be goes up to 4 volt so if this is the graph so this is the v0 and here is sorry here is 2 volt at t equal to 0 the v0 it goes up to Four volt. So now, uh, what will be the time constant of the of the circuit? Now, the time constant will be zero, because uh, we see that there is a uh, there is a due to the infinite current, the cap the capacitor voltage is suddenly jump. So in very small amount of time, is nearly equal to zero. The capacitor voltage change so the time constant is zero okay. so let's move to the both caps are initially dis uncharged okay caps are initially uncharged now i want to plot this vc and this v out okay 
ओके सो द कैपेसिटर इज इनिशियली अनचार्ज एंड द वी इन वोल्टेज इज फाइव ब्यूटी दैट इज नथिंग बट ए स्टेप वोल्टेज ऑफ फाइव वोल्ट एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो so at t equal to 0 what happen the capacitor are short circuited so so the circuit will look like this so the circuit will look like this so we can see here is a short circuit path and the uh, voltage and and the voltage is uh, connected with the short circuit path so there is a infinite amount of current and there will be a sudden jump at v0 so the v0 will become uh, sorry 5 volt 5 by 2 volt that is 2.5 volt okay and this uh, 2.5 volt acts uh, uh, and this 2.5 volt is uh, distributed in, in across the two capacitor and due to this 2.5 volt in 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 the in this parallel in this parallel branch there is a current there is a current flow uh, through the r so now uh, so there is a current flow through the r so now the v0 uh, so now the v0 will increase and the the, the v0 will increase as this capacitor as this uh, uh, can i name this c1 and C, uh, this this board C one and C two. Okay, yes. it will be easy, explainable then. Yes. Okay, so both C one and C two is value is C. So at T equal to zero plus, both C one and C two are short circuited. So the five volt uh, appear across this C one and C two, and it is uh, exactly five by two, two point five volt. And after that, at T equal zero. and after that uh, due to this 2.5 volt across the c1 a current is flow th uh, through the r so there is and therefore the c2 is discharged and uh, at the same amount of times sorry uh, c2 is charged c2 is charged and at the same amount of time c1 is uh, start discharging through this r1 so through this r and the voltage across c2 is goes up to 5 volt and the voltage across c1 is uh, goes down to zero so it is like uh, this here it is 2.5 volt i guess you can understand because yes, this is a yes, big problem so it is this 5 volt and vc1 also at 2.5 volt at t equal 0 but uh, as time go it will start discharging and it to go to zero yes. it is vc1 and it is v0 now question is uh, why this two cards the cards are exponential right this two yes so i want to know uh, why this is not linear or anything but it is exponential why uh, cause uh, uh, at t equal to 0 there is a sudden jump and after that the there is a two voltage appears across c1 and c2 2.5 volt and as soon as there is a 2.5 volt there is a the uh, uh, the voltage also appear across the r 2.5 volt there is a current flow and if there is an resistive element uh, along with the c uh, we can we all know that the charging or discharging uh, the charging or discharging is an exponential because there is an resistance okay okay like like uh, okay. so you have like this is a continuation of the previous question okay so you have 
ओके एक्सपोनशियल नॉट लिनियर और नॉट सडन स्टेप so if uh, suppose there is a finite current is flowing through the capacitor the voltage is here the voltage is fixed 5 at 5 volt yes. and the value of resistance is fixed that is r so there is a no uh, infinite current flowing through capacitor so v in doesn't change uh, abruptly so the if the finite current is flowing through the capacitor the according to the capacitor uh, rc circuit equation the car will uh, follow the car will look like exponential okay so you are like you are telling uh, right thing but i wanted to know look, like uh, from which equation or by seeing what what condition we can uh, see uh, we can tell the uh, waveform will be exponential because like i wanted to know v so, in will be nothing but like we know that the voltage across a capacitor is always 1 over c i dt right So now, if we write yes, yes, uh, KVL in this loop, so there will be a differential equation like this, right? Yes, and after solving this after differential the, equation, the solution of this differential equation is exponential, right? Yes, yes, yes. So that is the, so the solution of the differential uh, uh, differential equation is like V zero equal to V one into one minus e to the power t by tau. Yes. so this e to the power uh, this e to the power t by term acts uh, here and uh, this yeah, this term actually caused uh, the v0 to follow the exponential yes so in this case uh, the caps are initially unchanged right like q broke like yes. yes so now come to the previous question so can you tell why this certain jump is happening in this in this circuit like you you tell right that there is a uh, like Uh, impulse current at t equals zero plus that is correct. Hmm. So hmm. can you like elaborate it more? Like uh, I wanted to know the uh, frequency domain response of this circuit. Okay, okay. First draw the frequency like Bode plot. Okay. Now you you draw Bode plot of the previous circuit. Okay. This will be better. Okay. So I am drawing here again. In page number four, I guess. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Okay, okay. So R C on C two, C on equals C two equals C. So how to do the Bode plot? Okay. Okay. So to calculate the Bode plot, we need to know about the poles and zeros. Yes. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, so in this circuit. Uh, in this circuit, so if we want to uh, find the pole, uh, for find the pole intuitively, we do one thing: z one equal to minus z two. Okay, so this is for pole calculation, and here the z one is nothing but r parallel. One by S C and Z two equal to one by S C. So if we calculate this, I am using just pen and paper for the calculation. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So here the transfer function is nothing but let's say h of s. Uh, this is z two divided by z one plus z two, right? Yes, yes. So is the so z one plus z two or pole? What? Uh, can you can you repeat yes, again? Yes, this is v out by v, right? So you okay, are doing okay. 
this is zero, right? You you did, did this, right? Mm hmm. So yes. Two two equating this denominator to zero. What like we get what poles or zero? We get poles. Yes, this is poles, na? Yes. Yes, you are saying. You this know, is for pole calculation. Yes, yes. So after uh, after solving this, we we got the pole at suppose uh, omega p at one by uh, two R C. This is our pole. Yes. Okay. 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 And uh, is there any anything zero or something? Yes. Uh, so uh, we know that uh, if uh, there is a. a in our previous, uh, in our previous uh, waveform, in our previous previous waveform, so we can see there is a sudden change in the output voltage, sudden jump. Yes. yes. So there must be a zero. Okay. Then uh, what will be the location? So, of so the location of the zero we can find in uh, two different ways. So, uh, so uh, to find the zero, so at uh, in, in any transfer function, if the zero is appear, the transfer function is tends to zero. So that means if we short circuit the C two path, so the V zero will goes to zero. So that means one by one by A C two equal to zero. That means uh, uh, at 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 infinity there is zero, or uh, the at infinity there is zero, but, but that is not possible. Or we can do one thing: uh, we can do z one is uh, tends to infinity. That means this r parallel c one is tends to inf it's r equal to infinity. Over r parallel one over s equal infinity. Okay. So that is there will be, a, uh, zero, at there will be zero at r one by r c. One by R C. Yes. That's the correct. Okay, you can do like you can find the poles and zero. Uh, like there are uh, many ways, right? So you take yes, yes. two of them, right? Like you, you told that yes, yes, time yes. domain from this time domain response as well as the frequency domain response, right? Frequency domain response, yes. Okay. So now you have poles and zero. Now to uh, to plot body plot, uh, you need DC again, right? Another yes. So how do I need the, DC again. How do you the DC again of the circuit? Okay. Uh, I just go to the next page. Okay. 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 So we have poles at one by two RC, and we have the one zero at one by RC. So I can easily uh, write the transfer function. Uh, there is some constant DC again. Uh, suppose it is A, and the transfer function is. SRC plus one, and in denominator it's two SRC plus one. So at this again, that means when when the both uh, uh, S uh, actually in this again, that means omega equal tends to zero. So frequency, is zero. frequency omega tends to zero. So uh, if we put uh, this omega value in here, so we can see that. This. Uh, OK, you can do intuition, right? What will be the DC gain? You can directly find that. Uh, so you, you can uh, so in. Uh, in uh, at t equal to infinity, we can see that v zero equal to five volt, and v in also five volt. So the the DC gain is one. Yes, yes, yes. Now draw the board. Sorry, I just uh, draw the board plot here. Okay. Yes. I accidentally remove all the. Thing. So this is a v. And this is omega. Uh, for just uh, 
calculation uh, would have i just uh, take rc equal to 1 okay so omega z our 1 by rc that is 1 and omega p our uh, 0.5 So at t equal to zero, we in time domain we see that uh, the voltage is to a sudden change and 2.5. So somewhere here, okay. So here the pole value is 0.5 and zero value is one. So we can clearly see that the pole is coming before the zero. So it is 0.5 and it is one. And the, at the omega equal to zero, we see that the DC gain is uh, one. So, The board will look like this. Like yes, DC gain is at like higher and the like high frequency gain is low, right? Yes. Okay, now this axis in DV, right? Yes. So this will be how like in DV what will be this value? It uh, like uh, 20 log, sorry, twenty log base ten AV. This is the value. Twenty log. 10 uh, 20 log base 10 a huh. so here a is what a value is here one right um, hello 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 uh, your voice is okay. breaking i'm telling again here you find that the dc gain that is a is one right yes yes yes, yes. so what will be the db value like this is in linear, right? Voltage by voltage form. So I wanted to know 20 log base 10 of 1 is how much dB? This will be 0 dB, right? So this is 0. 0 dB. This point. Hello? Okay, there is some networking issues, I guess. Hello? Okay, he is like, Rick will be rejoining, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry for the inc inconvenience, okay. actually. Okay.
uh, for the network issue. Okay, so this will be zero degree, right? We discuss up to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now I wanted to know uh, what will be the actually uh, sorry actually uh, I think I made a mistake here. Mm. So according to us uh, in the DC again, this will be the zero dB. No, no, you can you can draw the axis anywhere. No, there is no problem. Okay, no problem. You can. Okay, okay, okay. If you if you make this not zero dB, so there, this is fine. No problem. Okay, 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 okay. Then then it's okay. Then okay. it's okay. It is okay. Okay. Hmm. So now I wanted to okay. know what will be the uh, minus three dB bandwidth of this circuit. Minus three dB bandwidth. Uh, I guess, uh, uh, sorry, I guess no. uh, the minus 3 dB bandwidth is the 1 by 2 RC. Because uh, after the after uh, after this, we can see there is a 20, minus 20 dB per D. Yes, yes. And the gain is going down. So after this, the gain is stable. Yes, for single pole system, the whole value is itself minus yeah. 3db bandwidth, okay? Itself minus, yes. Yes, for single position. So, there is only one pole, na? So, the pole location will be the minus 3db bandwidth. Uh, hello? 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 Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. let's move to the next problem. Hmm. So, now RC is done. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I can hear you. Now, let's say, this type of circuits let's say this is 4 volts this is 1 ohm 1 ohm 1 ohm 1 ohm 1 ohm and this is 5 volts okay so and this is let's say ground this is our VA this is our VV so okay so so i want to evaluate the potential va and vb okay okay this is the question okay, you can solve So here is uh, two voltage source. We, we can say that five volt and one uh, four volt. So we can do this uh, using superposition theorem. Okay. Okay. So uh, at first we short circuit this four volt and uh, taking this five volt and solving this. Okay. okay so the circuit will look like. There is a five volt. So here, this one and one in comes in parallel. So it will be become uh, point five ohm. Okay. And this is series with this one one plus one point five, and one plus point five. That is one point five, and this one ohm, and 1.5 ohm again para in uh, coming in parallel. How, 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 how? Mm -hmm. Ek, one minute. These two points are same. Uh, 
uh, sorry, I made a mistake here. These two points are not the same. So there is a no current flowing from this uh, this branch to this branch. So this is actually an open open circuit. So in the in this one ohm uh, across this one ohm resistor, there is a zero uh, zero potential actually. Okay. So why why the like in in this middle one ohm through this one ohm resistor, why the current is not flowing? Like why the current is zero? See here, uh, the five volt. Uh, if the current is coming uh, going through this, so there is a returning path here. And suppose some amount of current is going through this, and we can see this. There is a no returning path across uh, across it. Same goes with four volt. If there is a current flow through this, there is a returning path. But if if there is a, a small some 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 current goes flow from B B to A, there is no returning path about it. So if the current is zero, the voltage across the resistance is also zero. Okay, yes. because there is no return path, right? There is no return path. Yes. yes. But uh, yes, and you can also think in this way that this one ohm resistor, like with this one ohm resistance, there is no growth path. So that is the same meaning. Yes. But this this one mm -hmm. ohm is making no closed loop system, right? Closed loop. Yes. Yes. So yes, you can go ahead. Okay, so, so, what will be the VA? Tell me instantly. What will be the VA here? The, the just a voltage divider rule. Uh, 5, 5 by 2, 2.5. Yes. Yes, yes. 2.5. Yes, 2.5. And, and VB is 2. VB is 2, yes. So, this is 2.5. And VB is 2. And this is 2. 2 because these two are become separate circuit, right? Yes, yes. Now move to the next problem. <clears throat> now, okay, so what can we do? There is okay, let's solve this open problem. Now to make this system, mm. to work in negative feedback, okay. Okay. What will be the sign of this A and B? So, uh, uh, I, I I want to ask a few questions about this op -amp. Is the what is the gain of this op -amp? Uh, This is ideal op -amp. Ideal of them. Okay, yes. that is that means R in is infinity and gain is infinity. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is okay. N so okay. okay. And R zero of the inverse is uh, infinity. infinity. Yes, R zero of infinity. So I need okay, so, the sign of A and B so that the whole circuit works in negative feedback. Okay. So I just uh, to test uh, the the sign in the a the sign of the op amp and the op amp work in negative feedback. We just uh, we here do the loop. Uh, we here do a loop gain, uh, loop uh, break the break the loop yes, at any point the and break the, loop. Yes, no. break the loop and apply a test voltage and measure the output voltage across the op amp. So in next page I uh, freshly draw the circuit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes.
this is R and It's okay, it's okay. Drawing is okay, okay. Okay. So, suppose here I, in the gate of the NMOS, I applied a voltage and I just uh, increased the voltage del V amount. So, if I increase the, so if I increase the voltage, so the current, the VGS is also increased, the current is also in, now the current is also increased in this uh, MOS. So if the current is increased, the same ID current is flowing through this R. So the V0 will also increase here by some amount. Uh, by some amount, it is also increased. So if this increase, so this is all, this is increased. Now we know the output of an uh, MOS is V0 equal to, this is, there is some gain into uh, V plus and v minus so putting it it uh, in it uh, is putting the op amp in negative feedback uh, so the output is uh, somehow here is uh, is uh, is uh, is to is have to decrease by some amount so we can see that uh, the uh, if we change the input voltage del v amount so this the output is uh, actually creates an opposition to this input voltage so uh, to do this, uh, if this increase, so it has to be decreased. So this is negative sign and this is positive sign. That means uh, A will be pl plus sign and B will be negative minus sign. So this will increase. So if this, this will increase. increase. So we need hmm. the output should be decreasing, right? So it should be decreasing. Yes, yes. So what will be the sign here? So you write this equation. So we need this to be lower. Okay. Yes. So we can uh, like we can decrease this V plus, right? V, but uh, we can decrease this V plus or increase this V minus. Or increase this V minus. V V minus. Okay. So you are actually this voltage is increasing. So if this like let's say this is plus, okay. So if this is plus and okay. this is increasing, so the voltage will be increasing, right? So th then it yes. is positive feedback. So this is not possible. The, the, this is not possible, yes, yes. yes. So that you, you you do the correct side, okay. So this is the sand is for me, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, what did you say? Uh, uh, this is a this is a sanity check for me. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. From, okay. from my side, okay. So you, you did. Okay, okay, okay. So now I want to find the current through this IR register. When the whole circuit operates in, operates, operates in negative feedback. What will be the current through this resistance? Like you can you can see the previous slide. So I want this IR. What will be the current through this on K resistance? Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the the current through this resistance is nothing but the V zero by R. That means uh, V zero by one K. So you want the V zero actually, right? What what I can't clear it. Uh, so you uh, so the current through this register is IR yes. that is nothing but V0 by R. Yes, so uh, by R. we uh, we know the R value of R. So you just want the V0 value. So this you are saying that right? Uh, V0 some V0 some V0 now by I, 1K. Yes. Now I am asking what will be the V0 there? Yes, I, I, I just asked you that you want the V0 value. Now I asked the current value, I asked. Okay, I, one minute. 
so like you can you can tell me the approaches okay no need to write anything hmm so uh here is the in the uh, in the in mos there is a gate voltage we just denoted it vg and so we know that uh, the current through in any mos is id okay, okay, okay. Type equal to think, gm you can think other way okay like you don't go to this currents currents the concept okay you can think other way okay. you know the negative figure right and there is a virtual sort concept right yes 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 so, okay 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 yes so yes yes uh, so the gain op amp is uh, ideal yes. and there is a negative feedback so this uh, there is a virtual short so the one volt is appears across uh, the negative terminal of the op amp yes. sorry the non inverting terminal non inverting terminal uh, inverting terminal of the op amp yes. so the one volt is also applied here so the r value is 1k so the ir is 1 1 volt by this so 1 milliampere okay. so now okay if you know what is the circuit called you know this circuit uh -huh. uh, actually i don't know okay basically this is a ldo circuit okay no problem ldo low drop out voltage regulator okay. okay so let's move to the thanks thanks for this information okay. so now uh, let's say we have uh, okay let's say we have a mosfet let's say this now i want the small signal gain av and output impedance okay okay and you can neglect, what about you can neglect channel length modulation okay and, okay. and body that means lambda lambda equal to 0 yes okay so as the lambda equal to 0 so r0 is tends to infinity so to uh, find out the av that means uh, small signal gain we know that av equal to nothing but gm times r out uh, so to calculate the gm is a transconductance of this uh, mosfet No, no. This two are not equals. Basically, this is the overall GM, right? Capital GM is over overall GM. Yes. This this is the overall GM, and this is the actually the transconductance of the small GM. Actually, the transconductance of the MOS. Yes. Okay, you can do. Yes. So can use the next hmm. digit. So okay. So to calculate the GM, we uh, short circuit the input. and here is rd and here is rs and we short circuit the gm path and all the dependence if the in small signal analysis all the dependence uh, voltages are uh, to dc uh, short circuited so the vdd is also short circuited so here and here the voltage is applied voltage vi so here we can see this path is also short circuit and the another path of the rd is also short circuit so basically the value of uh, the the significance of rd here is nothing so actually this the rd is short circuit this is out of picture yes and the gm is 
and the R and here is RS, but uh, in here the overall GM is nothing but GM by one plus uh, GM RS. Uh, cause uh, here it, it, due to this uh, RS resistance there is a voltage drop across this uh, there is source so the VGS will be nothing but V in minus this voltage drop so the GM uh, in, in this circuit the GM is look like GM by 1 plus GM RS and and in add out calculation, we do uh, the input, uh, the input, we applied a test voltage in the output and we measure the VT by IX, what current is flowing through this, what current is flowing through this circuit. So we, uh, what that is, that is our add out. So in this uh, circuit, uh, I actually redraw the circuit again. This is a sig down. Here we applied the test voltage and measure the ix ix current here t then this is uh, yes this is the dc ac ground and so we can see that this is nothing but a source degeneration circuit so r out will be nothing but there is two different branch one is going to here and another is going through here so r out is nothing but rd parallel and in source de degeneration circuit the output impedance in our case, in our case, R0 is infinity, right? yes r0 is infinity so, automatic, so that is that will be infinity Yes. So RO is nothing but RD. Yes. So the overall gain will be uh, in nine number page. I write this. Yes. Overall gain is nothing but GM times one plus GM RS into RD, and there is a negative sign. Mm -hmm. okay. and we will be talking about mod of gain okay in in this problem so okay let's say so uh, which have uh, which having higher gain this one or this one this this uh, first one circuit the first circuit okay. there is C1. C1, okay. C2. So, but so the gain is higher for this figure on right right so why we do this like in in circuit higher gain is very much it uh, like need right we need higher gain but why this mm -hmm. circuit is useful uh in uh, source uh, uh, so actually here the uh, in the figure two circuit there is a resistance and uh, due to this source de degeneration the overall gm is stable but in this figure one circuit the overall gm is not stable yes. so here the gain is stable actually, there are pvt right process voltage and temperature high process voltage and temperature in, in our circuit. dependency yes. so this is less dependent Yes. So this is less sensitive as well. Yes, this is the answer. Okay. So yeah. now the last question is okay. okay. So 
तो आवर वी इन इज से v in is five sine omega t and this is the wave form. Mm. So I need the output uh, like output voltage wave form. Okay, and the cap is initially uncharged. And di diode is ideal or not? This is ideal diode. You can draw the output wave form uh, in this graph. Okay. Okay. So. The diode is ideal. So to conduct the diode, we know that. So here, this is VP voltage, and here is a VN voltage. So to conduct the diode, uh, to conduct the diode, uh, the VP should be greater than VN. So here, the capacitor is uh, initially uncharged, so that means zero volt, and VP is uh, increasing from zero to five. so definitely the diode is on and it is acts like a short circuit so the v0 will just follow the input wave from okay and as soon as it is uh, the v0 is follow the input wave from sorry one so as soon as uh, the 5 for uh, 5 volt is reaching so the v0 also is uh, 5 volt so at this point moment the v0 is 5 volt so the v uh, v0 is 5 volt that is that means the vn is also 5 volt after that 5 volt the v in is decreasing so that means uh, vp is decreasing that means the uh, diode is off The, there is no connection between the, the V in and V out, and the path is also not completed. So the capacitor voltage is stayed at this position. Draw the uh, full full waveform. Ah. And in the negative half of the five sine omega t, the diode is off, so the V zero is stayed here. And it again, it's zero. so actually the cap uh, the v0 across the capacitor is stayed at 5 volt okay why cuz uh, once it's charged up to the 5 volt the vn is at 5 volt uh, the and when the vn is less than 5 volt the cap the diode is off and v0 is uh, the the path is off then the then the v the capacitor holds is voltage so it's uh, hold the 5 volt value so again okay. you are telling after after that the vp minus vn cannot be greater than zero right yes yes okay cannot possible after after this yes. okay so this is okay so thank you anindo for joining so i will give you the feedback thank you Okay okay